Pride advertisements in just a moment. Community Welfare Minister Greg Crafter said today that hundreds of South Australian families and individuals will benefit from grants totalling nearly $1,300,000 provided through 167 local welfare organisations. Mr Crafter said that following support from the Premier, the grants for 1984 will include a special injection of $60,000 for new welfare projects aimed at helping those most in need in the community. The grants are based on recommendations made to the Minister by the Community Welfare Grants Advisory Committee, which is chaired by former South Australian Governor Sir Keith Seaman. A working party set up by the South Australian Government to review existing incentive and assistance schemes and to recommend an effective and cost-efficient package of programs designed to generate industrial growth in South Australia will visit Port Perry early in the new year. The working party, under the leadership of the Investment Director of the Department of State Development, will be in Port Perry on January the 5th to meet with members of the City Council. Well, that's it for tonight's regional news. And before I go, on behalf of all of us here, I'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Please drive safely, and now I wish you a very good night indeed. Seven National News, Friday, December 23rd. Good evening, I'm Steve Whittam, and among tonight's headlines, Aviation Minister Kim Beasley says government policies can't be blamed for... ...and another city demolition controversy. The policeman in charge of the ACES inquiry has renewed pressure on Canberra to release the names of the people involved in the bundled exercise. Giving his first interview since the furor started, Victoria's Deputy Police Commissioner Eric Miller said he accepted the common work of Pamela Graham, the Hawke government was morally bound to do so. Very strong feeling in police headquarters. Those charges would be laid last Wednesday after the five known Aviation Minister Kim Beasley today denied that Australian government policy was to blame for the high cost of domestic air travel. The charge was levelled by the chairman of Ansett Transport Industries, Sir Peter Abels. Sir Peter claimed domestic airfares could be cut by 8% by the removal of punitive federal charges and taxes on aviation fuel. Sir Peter indicated he was growing weary of constant comparisons between the cost of air travel in the United States and Australia. He said it was particularly discouraging when criticism of the Australian fare structure came from members of Parliament who made the rules that ultimately determined the fares. Leading the Kiwi charge is the 40-footer Pacific Sundance, a boat with a unique method of generating its own good luck. And included, it includes the trotting tonight at Globe Derby Park and the Christmas handicap and the Port Adelaide Cup at Morfordville tomorrow. Ron Pat's special at Globe Derby tonight is race 8, number select Julan. And while at Morfordville tomorrow, Ron race 4, number 3, Mapinga, and race 6, number 2, Trim Trio. Channel 7 will televise the Christmas handicap live tomorrow. And Steve, there's a lady in the race. Her name's Murray. She's a pretty good rider and she's on number 15, Chase Me Do. So you can put dollars on that one, eh? Oh, I'm not a betting lady. <laughs> Thanks very much, Anne. And in a moment, let's see what Catherine Hanging can for for the weekend weather-wise. Mm -hmm. Now, the fourth and the final edition of tonight, you can hear a flat-a-fighter, that was famous. Yeah, 